Okay, so to recover your Cody system after it has um, after it has suffered some type of failure, uh, what you need to do is go into settings, and you need to also make sure that you have a backup. So this is for individuals that have looked at the backup video or they already understand how to back up their system. If you understand how to back up your system, you probably don't need advice on how to do a restore. But this video um, uh, is in cooperation with another video that speaks on backing up your system. So go to settings, then go to your apps section, and then locate Kodi. Click on your Kodi application, click on force stop, then click on clear data to clear your system once you have done that once you've actually uh, uh, cleared the data on the system for the Kodi application then the Kodi application will return to its default uh, install now um, the version of Kodi that I have installed on my system is um, um, an experimental version. However, the restore that I'm using uh, is a restore from another system that I have that actually um, uses 16.1, but a newer a, a newer uh, version of that. So the, the 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 backup or the restore it'll still work fine. It's just that it's going to be uh, it's going to present an error that just indicates that there's a that I'm restoring from a newer version, and that's fine. Now you may have noticed that my application screen or the home screen of my application it looked different, and the reason being is that I'm using an SC S805 media streaming device from SolusConnect.com. However, uh, if you're using an Amazon Fire Stick or some other media stream, uh, some other type of media streaming device, then you, your home screen will, all, will also look different. However, once you go into the settings section, that should all look the same. So once you get into the Kodi uh, install, that um, that is installed on your your device your device uh, it will be the uh, default install of Kodi and so the default add-ons that come with that particular install they'll need to be updated and so usually I'll let my application sit for about two minutes to three minutes while it runs through those updates once it's done then you can click on programs click OK and then go to program add-ons then go to get more and then scroll down to where it says backup click install and that'll start the process of installing the backup tool And whenever you're doing a restore of your system, always go into settings and clear the data for your Kodi install. So that way you can start from scratch. So when you do the restore, there's no issues. Now I click on the backup application again. And then I click on configure. And I need to go to where the file is located. So I suggest that you uh, have a backup copy on your device uh, and also store it on a USB device as well. I stored mine on a USB device but also have a local copy on on my device as well. I'm using the one off of my USB drive because uh, I think the install on my device is an older install. 
click on compress archives you have to configure the application so click that so when you're doing your backups of your system it'll compress all of the backups it'll compress them into a zip file so that way it doesn't take up as much space then go to file selection choose add on data and then choose profiles you don't need to select custom directory one or two click OK and then click on run since you're doing a restore and not a backup you wouldn't click on backup but if you were doing a backup of your system then of course you would click on backup we've already configured the settings so we're clicking on restore I have one backup file located uh, loaded on this USB drive so I'll choose that and it'll start the process of expanding that zip archive and then performing the restore uh, depending on the size of your file it may take anywhere from uh, 5 to 10 minutes once this is done then um, the the backup as long as there's no errors would have been successful and you've successfully restored your system now in my case I'm using the Ares wizard uh, and that's how and I suggest um, you go to um, solusconnect.com uh, go to the support section and even if you don't own a device from them just go to the support section and you can see some videos that I created on enhancing your Kodi install but um, one of those videos talks about installing the Ares wizard it's a great tool because it makes it easier to update your builds so if you want to use different types of neat builds that have uh, a different feel to it uh, and some of those builds have different add-ons that that will enhance your experience in using Kodi allow you to access more more information out there on the internet for your entertainment pleasure uh, you, you would want to use that Ares build uh, Ares wizard it makes it easier to install new builds uh, the build that I like to use is the spins build um, and so it's a great build um, pretty easy to, to, to maneuver around and so to get my spins build functioning correctly ensuring that the skins the backgrounds and various different icons load up properly I perform a backup with the Ares wizard as well but to be able to get my Ares wizard loaded onto my system after um, a, a, a failure and and then doing a recovery I have to um, restore um, from the default backup program and then I go into the Ares wizard and then I choose its backup program to perform a restore from uh, an Ares backup Ares wizard backup file that I have loaded on my USB drive as well then that allows me to to return my device back to uh, the the original state that it was in before the failure so once you do that you're able to use your device uh, enjoy your movies music whatever you listen to with no issues at all but you have to do the the restore uh, from two locations you have to do a restore from the default backup program just to get all your applications back onto your system and to also gain access to your Ares wizard application and then once you gain access to your Ares wizard application you choose the backup program that's loaded in the Ares wizard to do a recovery of your of your system with the Ares wizard so that way you can have all of your backgrounds and icons that you're used to so it says this version of Kodi is different than the one used to create the archive which you like to continue yes so we have to wait for this to uh, complete the restore with the extracted files once this is done then we'll go into the Ares wizard
Okay, so the restore is done and you see where it says unable to load skin. Well, that's fine. Once again, the skin is the uh, special backgrounds and other add-ons that occur whenever you use some of these different builds like the spins, the beast, all that kind of stuff. So I just go into the Ares Wizard. It's also located in Programs Add-ons now because I've already performed a restore for my default backup tool in uh, Kodi. So I just go to uh, Backup, click on that. I go down to where it says Select Backup File. I go down here to where it says Backup File. It just wants to know where it's located. We're going to still work off of my USB drive. We click on this Ares Backup. I click on OK. Click refresh. That'll go and examine the file, and then I'll be able to perform the restore. With this Ares Wizard, this restore is going to go fast. I don't even think I'm going to have to pause this video. It's it's going to go fast. So you all will will um, appreciate the speed of this. But it just needs to examine the file and just ensure that everything is fine with the file. Now I click on Restore Backup. And it's going to start the process of expanding it. I'm hoping that I get no errors. Normally I don't get any errors. So um, as long as everything works well with that, we should be done, should be done uh, shortly. But once this backup completes, I'll um, show you the uh, the default landing page for the Kodi application, and you should be able to see how the backgrounds and everything's all set up. So um, it's going to require that I, that I close the uh, Kodi application, and and I can I can close it. I'll close it down and then get back into it and then when I get into it we should see a different screen here and then if we don't all you need to do is just go into your settings or your, your system settings in Kodi and set it up so you, you saw what what's supposed to load up the the thing is now the spans applications here but I want my background so if I want my background I just go into system click on appearance choose skin and if you're not using spans you're using some other type of build the pulse all these various different builds that are out there uh, this is how you would do it So it might take a little time for it to load up. And then I'll just go over here to where it says hybrid development. That's the, the spins background. I click on that. I choose that. And then uh, gives me an option to confirm to keep the changes now we're good I'm set up and you can see the backgrounds now and so now it's going through the process of updating various different add-ons that need to be updated and if there if the uh, build uh, the spins build or whatever build you're using if it needs to be updated then eventually you'll see that uh, pop up but that's how you do the restore. That's how it works. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, once again, uh, feel free to visit uh, solusconnect.com. Go to the support section. So even if you don't have a device, it's no big deal. Go to the support section and just look at the videos. And you can educate yourself on how to do various different things with your Kodi install.